who are the top 10 second basemen in all of baseball right now? Let's get into it. What's going on, baseball fans? Jeremy Letterquente here for the Baseball Banter Broadcast, and we continue our series here looking at my selections for the top 10 at each position. Today, we look at the position of second base. But before we get into it, if you haven't already done so, smash that subscribe button as it does a huge service for us in growing this community. Let all of your baseball friends know that this is the channel to watch in 2022. Now, let's get into that number 10 pick. As we look at number 10, it is Jeff McNeil of the New York Mets. I think that this is going to be one of the more underrated players in all of Major League Baseball, not just on the second base market. Now, I think that his ability and his versatility is really going to provide the Mets with an opportunity to move him all over the diamond, but I think that his best ability is at second base. I think going into this new campaign, this player's ability to be able to help his team win games is going to be at a forefront, and therefore he makes number 10 on my list. As we look at number nine on the list, it is that of the San Diego Padres, Jake Cronenworth. I think that just like McNeil, Cronenworth is going to be a player capable of playing all over the diamond for the San Diego Padres. But I think that they're going to put him at second base, as to me, that's where his best position lies. Going into this new campaign, I think the Padres are going to be very, very aggressive and going after and playing their best brand of baseball. And I think that Cronenworth is going to be a part of that. Going into this new campaign, I think that Cronenworth is absolutely going to have a breakout season in 2022 and really put himself on the map as one of the best young players in all of Major League Baseball. So therefore, we have to have Jake Cronenworth a part of this list. Now, as we move to number eight on the countdown, it is that of Whit Merrifield. Arguably one of the best stolen base threats in all of Major League Baseball right now, Whit Merrifield also has a level of versatility that other players on this list can find themselves competing against. If we had an all utilities list, Whit Merrifield would find himself on there. Going into this new campaign, I think that Whit is going to play second base for the Kansas City Royals. If the Royals decide to pivot course and trade away a player like Whit Merrifield, this is going to be a player that brings back a lot in return. Therefore, there is without question that one of the best players in baseball, one of the most versatile, as well as one of the biggest stolen base threats in the game right now, has to make this top 10 second baseman list. Now as we look at number 7, it is that of the Cincinnati Reds, Jonathan India. Now there's an argument to be made that India will likely play predominantly shortstop for the Reds in 2022. But I think that with the way that the Reds used Eugenio Suarez for part of the year as a shortstop, India could find himself playing second base. If the Reds decide to go after another bigger name at shortstop, India will definitely find himself at that second base mark. I also think that defensively is going to be one of his better positions. If the Reds were to plant Jonathan India at second base on a consistent basis, I think this could be a very above average defender and given his offensive abilities, making him one of the best second basemen in all of baseball. Therefore, I have him at number seven on my second base list. Now, as we get into number six on my list, it is that of DJ LeMahieu. Now, for the Yankees going into this 2022 campaign, Glaber Torres is likely going to be the predominant everyday second baseman, with DJ moving around the diamond as a utility player. But I still think that DJ is best suited to be the Yankees' everyday second baseman. His ability to put bat on the ball is going to be arguably some of the best in the game, and not to mention he is a gold glove caliber second baseman. While being able to move around the diamond and fill that utility position out quite well for the Yankees, second base to me is where he shines at the most. Therefore, in my opinion, I think the Yankees would be better suited to have DJ LeMahieu at second base. And he makes number six on my list. As we get into number five, it is that of Brandon Lowell of the Tampa Bay Rays. Again, this player has a level of versatility that is something predominantly on this entire second base list. But going into the 2022 campaign, I think that this is going to be a breakout campaign for Brandon Lowe. The Tampa Bay Rays have always been known for being able to produce high level second basemen who are capable of playing all over the diamond and providing them with a lot of very good offensive capabilities. To me, Brandon Lowe fits that mold just the same as a guy like Ben Zobrist did back in the day. So going into this new campaign, I think that for Tampa, this is going to be a guy that they predominantly feature in their lineup as well as defensively. For Brandon Lowell, the 2022 campaign is likely going to be a very big breakout season, and that's why he makes number five on my list. 
Now as we get into number four, we see what used to be the number one candidate, Jose Altuve. I think that Altuve is going to have a lot of pressure put on him this season as the departure of Carlos Correa, as well as all of the kind of hatred that comes to the Astros based on the sign stealing scandal of 2017 has fallen on the shoulders of Jose Altuve. And with that, I think that the pressure has started to get to him and has started to erode some of his offensive production. Whether you believe that it was all fabricated on a sign stealing scandal or whether or not this was actual genuine ability that Altuve had, there's no denying that he was one of the best second basemen in all of baseball. I think that going into the 2022 campaign, he's going to have an opportunity to get back to being one of the best. I think that there are a couple of players that maybe have passed him now, and that's why he makes number four on my list. As we get to number three on my list, it is the newest Texas Ranger, Marcus Simeon. Going into this new 2022 campaign, I think Simeon really puts himself on the map as one of the best players in all of baseball and one of the best second basemen. We would see him take over the position of second base in 2021 for the Toronto Blue Jays and have a breakout masterful performance as a second baseman. I think that defensively it also helps him as he was not the greatest defender at shortstop, although he did get better with the help of Ron Washington. Going into the new 2022 campaign with the Texas Rangers, I think that Simeon and his offense is really going to be his calling card. But being able to be closer to first base, allowing him to have more time to make throws is really going to help his defensive metrics as well. So therefore, Marcus Simeon is number three on my list. As we get into number two, it is that of the World Series champion Atlanta Braves, Ozzy Albies. Albies, the switch hitter, is going to be capable of providing very good defense, very good offense, and a stolen base threat for the Atlanta Braves going into this new campaign. I think that there's an opportunity here for Albies to really cement himself as one of the best players in all of Major League Baseball. And by doing so, he allows himself and the Braves to get the best out of his talents. Therefore, to me, Ozzy Albies has to be one of the best players and arguably could even be number one on this second base list. But for now, I think Albies puts himself at number two. And as we get to the number one second baseman on my list, it is that of Quetzal Marte. I think a staple of this second base list has been versatility and none more to me than Quetzal Marte. Marte has the ability to not only be a switch hitter, but play second base, shortstop, and the outfield. I think there's an opportunity here for Marte and the Diamondbacks, really, to get the best out of his talents by trading him to a contending team. Finding Quetzal Marte playing for a contending team is really going to put him on the map as one of the best players in all of Major League Baseball, not just as a second baseman. Therefore, to me, Quetzal Marte has to be viewed as one of the best overall players in baseball going into this new campaign. Therefore, number one on the second base list seems like a foregone conclusion. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your feelings on this down in the comment section below. Who are the top 10 second basemen right now? Let me know your list and we can discuss it further. As always, keep it locked into the entire GLNG family with We Sip the Granny Geek Show and of course here on the Baseball Banter Broadcast. For sticking around to the end, head over to BaseballBanterBroadcast.com. Use the promo code BANTER to save 5% off of your order. Keep it locked in here to the Baseball Banter Broadcast all season long as I continue to bring you the latest news, notes, and my personal thoughts, theories, and opinions on the game of Major League Baseball. Peace.